being prepared is supremely important to me. And I, I'll fully admit I'm overprepared, but I have the confidence to go out and do what it is that I do and walk where I do by myself. It gives me a, a sense of real confidence to focus on the hunt and not to be so preoccupied on, um, on what if I get lost, because I've done that before. <laughs> So here is the beast. My ball cap, rope, big, the main knife that I use, a different knife that I use, and I have more rope. I like these gloves, um, kind of neoprene dipped, protect my hands a little bit, and then I can stick a hand warmer inside my orange hat. Bone saw that I use, so cutting through the pelvis and then opening up the rib cage hand warmers for during the hike and then also the harvest itself. Um, emergency ultralight ultra warm bivy. Um, an extra hanky. An emergency blanket that if I had to with the rope then I could make a little shelter. And yes I have practiced with that a couple times. Poop shovel. Super important. This is just a seating pad that's really tough that I can blow up and sit down on. So there's my binoculars. Puffy jacket for when I'm sitting and I'll have that underneath my outer layer. These are my insulated gloves. Roll of toilet paper. Hat, my jet boil for my tea <laughs> that I have at lunch. Water, flagging, one game bag. Here's my food. First aid kit walkie-talkie, my compass, uh, license and tags, magazine, um, extra bullets, cow call, knife sharpener, scope cover, ibuprofen, electrolyte tablets, emergency fire starter. These were from the first elk that I shot back here. It was a, um, the first solo hunt that I had. Interesting because a couple days before my dad and I went on a hike a couple drainages over looking for a specific clearing because we know we had bumped some elk before but like it's so easy to do when you have when you're really up high uh, the, the little finger ridges like in geometry they start off with just they're only a couple angles different but if you're on the wrong ridge coming down you can end up you know, two miles from where you intended, and that's kind of what happened. And uh, since I have a very healthy fear of getting lost, I was um, quite distressed. My dad knew where he was and where we were going, um, but I was not convinced of that. And it was so good for me to have that experience and to come out realizing that um, it's okay to be intensely fearful, but if I just follow common sense rules and know and accept that it's going to take me longer to get to where I wanted to go, then it's okay. Um, and I, I have all of this stuff. Worst case scenario, we'd hunker down and have a cold night, but it would still be okay. <laughs>